Generation 2 Past the Gun Review! Welcome back to yet another Plasticon review! Today we're going to cover Generation 2 World's Smallest Breakdown. Comes in this little handy dandy box, much like the Optimus Prime I got recently. Now this toy is kind of cool, and it comes with a little bit of extra features, and we'll just check those little features out. Comes in this nice little crate, which is handily put together. And whenever you remove him from the packaging, much like Prime, he comes in a uh, nice little tray. Before I get on to the toy, I'm going to get on to these. This thing comes with a large sticker sheet, which is designed for G1 breakdown. G2 breakdown, red alert, and if you look right here, it really does. It says breakdown on those, and it says fire chief on those. Along with the FD here and the fire chief right there. Got some tail light stickers, some feet pads, some knee pads. Notice I've got two of these. This right here was the G2 logo that goes onto the top. I will go on and review and tell you where the other one went. The other one. If you guys have been following me on my Twitter and my Facebook and such, I removed one of the stickers and put it on my Generation 2 Combiner Wars Breakdown and it worked perfectly! So it might be a little bit of incentive for you guys out there. And like I said, it's just Fire Chief right there. And a bunch of Autobot emblems in here as well. Would have been nice if they gave you just as many Decepticon and you know, it's two of these things that are missing because those are on another custom I have put together. Anyway, moving on to Breakdown. Breakdown is really interesting here. First off, he comes off in this little tray with a lot of his accessories here on the side. The tray comes apart just like Prime's. I love these little trays. These are kind of nice, especially if you don't want to lose any of the bits to these guys. Let's go on to the accessories he comes with. He comes with a spare top portion with a light bar. This is obviously for the red alert mold. So the red alert mold was made out of this mold as well so instead of skimming out on any of the parts they gave them to us. Comes with this handy dandy rocket launcher here made of an awesome pink color. It's almost like a Pepto Bismol pink. It's really nice. And he also comes with a little blaster rifle. It looks much like Generation 1 Red Alert and Side Swipe Rifles. Let's get a breakdown here out of the casing. So I you guys can check him out. He does not roll. They do not have rolling wheels, unfortunately. Which I understand maybe it would have been very difficult to try to engineer the pins and stuff. But to be honest, this guy is teeny, tiny, I mean little Bitty. I want you guys to get a really good look at this uh, nice little alt mode here that he's got. As you can tell, his uh, his alt mode's really cool. It's got a lot of pink, and it's got like the Decepticon logo right here, which is obviously a sticker. Same with the top. You turn him around, he's actually got his tail lights. And his tail lights are stickers as well. Just like I said, I had to pull these off a sticker sheet. Now imagine how I had to do this. Yes, I had to do this with an exacto knife and lots of patience. That's the key to these guys is lots of patience. Now I thought about putting the breakdown sticker on there, but it really just didn't look right. I debated on possibly putting it just on the side or whatever, but. You know, I just think this is kind of a cool little homage. It does have little bitty teeny tiny silver headlights there. As you can tell, there we go. Get rid of the lighting a little bit. You can tell those are silver. Matches his beautiful little silver rims. Lots of detail. I mean, you notice just tons of detail here. But, let's go ahead and get him into his 
robot mode. Because he does transform. Now he transforms much like your Generation 1 Sideswipe and Red Alert and G2 Sideswipe. Would have been nice to see a G2 Sideswipe like this. I haven't ever seen one. If I run across one, obviously, you guys know I'm going to buy it. The first thing you do is you pull his legs out, just like you normally would. And you will pull out on the little arm bits here, which so I have to kind of waggle them. I kind of suggest you waggle them a little more closer to the uh, wheel assembly, so that way you don't break the pegs. And then you just fold down this hood portion. Now this is actually on a little thing and moves back and forth just like the G1, which is really weird. And he also has little feet here. You just flip them out simultaneously at the same time. His little rocket launcher will easily clip onto the side there. And he does have a little hole to hold his little pistol for his rifle. And there you go. There is Generation 2 World's Smallest Breakdown in his robot mode. Now if you hadn't noticed he's got a bit of a uh, the head is kind of there but kind of not. These things are so tiny that it's very difficult to even put a lot of detail in something that small. It's really cool. I do like this thing a lot. He goes very well with MicroMasters. He will actually fit in with MicroMasters very well. Put Countdown right here next to him. And my Countdown is probably not in the best of condition. I know it's not a big deal. But kind of shows you a bit of the scale difference that these guys have. These guys actually fit in with your MicroMasters. So if you are a MicroMaster collector, I kind of suggest these guys. These guys are awesome. They're great to go with any of those. But the best thing of all is he's a little teeny tiny version of G2 Breakdown, which we all have come to love throughout the years. Granted, he's not exactly like the real G2 Breakdown would have been. It didn't have all this pink. It was more of a purple. But he works very, very well. And also the little sticker sheet here really helps with allowing you to add more play value to your other toys. Especially if you're one of those guys that likes to customize or you just want a certain sticker on a certain bot and you happen to have it, then you can go for it. But anyhow, this has been Plastic On. And this has been yet another Generation 2 Awesome Review. And I will catch you guys next time. Anyhow, this is me. Sign off. Peace out, you guys. See you around. Whoops.